Good morning in this week's block news. Gutenberg Full Site Editing gets a big update with support for post category templates and better support for custom post types. Block themes are now easier to find on WordPress.org. Alan Rickman reads the latest Gutenberg review and we take a quick look at three great new block themes. Let's get newsy. Time for block news. It's news about blocks. Gutenberg 13.7 was released this week and I've just noticed that 13.7.1 has literally just been released about a minute ago. 13.7 has some nice features to it. I put them up on the screen for you. There's two standout features really. The first is the ability now to lock all blocks within container blocks with one click. That's nice. Probably the most exciting thing for me now though is the ability to create specific templates for different post categories. And we now have much better support for custom post types because we get a template specifically for a custom post type template. Let me show you quickly both of those new features. We're gonna start with the ability to have different styled category pages for your post category. So here we have a website and I've got two categories at the moment, one called style and one called fashion. They both share exactly the same design because they're just using the basic themes archive category pages. But now in the full site editor, you can customize those, which is really cool. And once you're in the full site editor, click on templates on the left, then top right, click on add new. This is where you'll see some brand new options. This is new in 13.7. We want this fourth option down category. Then it's going to ask you whether you want to create a template that's going to affect all your categories or specific categories. That's what we want to do for this case. So choose that one there. Then you can choose which of your categories you want to actually customize. I'm going to choose fashion. And then basically it will just load in this page for you and you can just build this page however you like. Now the only thing I need to do really here is add a query loop block. So I'm going to use one of the block patterns that comes with this. Add that in. Now you can choose, you can amend this however you like. The only other thing you really need to remember to do here is choose the right category on the query loop block. So just go down to query loop and then come down here and you see you can filter it by category. So this is our fashion one. Just select that and that's going to bring in the fashion post for you. And obviously we're just using the full site editor so we can tailor everything about this if we want to. And then just click save. That saves the template. And now when we click on fashion, you'll see that's using that brand new template that I just created. But just for this specific category, if we go to style, you'll see that will have an entirely different layout. Gutenberg 13.7 also has better support for custom post types. So I've created a custom post type using custom post type UI. You'll see them here in movies. These are the ones I've actually created. But now we can actually customize the single post template for that custom post type. And that's just a template in the full set editor. Let me just show you how I've done this. You'll see I've already created one when I go to templates here. It's listed, where is it? Just here, my single item movie. So to customize your custom post types, just go to templates, click on add new, come down here. It'll list your custom post type and it will tell you the name of your custom post type. Mine is movie, that's the name of my custom post type that I created. Click on that. Then it's gonna ask you whether you wanna do this for all movies or just one specific item. I want this for all movies. And then that will just create you a blank page template. And then again, you can lay this out however you like. So all I'm gonna do here is add a cover block, which is gonna use the featured image as a background image. I'm gonna use the post title, uh, automatically bring that and I'm gonna change the text to that color there. And finally, I'm gonna select the cover block and make that full screen. And now when I go back and visit the website, we should see a custom custom post type, if you see what I mean. So if I go to my movie database, click on any of these movies, they will use that new custom post type that I just created. So it's much, much easier now. That's a cool photo. It's much, much easier now to customize the custom post type. Block themes are now easier to find on WordPress.org. You just go to WordPress.org, go to themes, and it'll load in the popular ones. But then if you look along here, you'll see block themes, click on that, and it'll filter it just by block themes. There's been some great new block themes that have been released this week. I'm just gonna show you three today. You can access all these on the training website, the one-click websites that I've set up for you. The link is in the description below if you wanna give these a spin. This is Poe. This is described as a clean, flexible, and fast loading block theme, a fast block theme. And I really like the colors and the style of it. Next one is Axton, which is a cleaner sort of design, portfolio and design and photography theme. And the third one is Basti, which I featured on a video yesterday if you want to check it out for a deeper dive. This is a commercial theme, you have to buy this one, the other two are free. But I think they're all really good examples of what people are producing now with block themes. 
Every week we have a look at the latest Gutenberg review from WordPress.org. Here's today's. It's a positive review today, a five starer. So as ever, it's read for us by the brilliant Alan Rickman. Simply put, Gutenberg is awesome. I've started to play with Gutenberg a year ago and very pleased with what it has become today. Great page builder which gave me an option to create simple and more complex layouts using only native blocks. The option to add block styles makes it more flexible. Love the direction of the new WordPress. The only thing I think is missing is the separate global topography options for headings and text in the site editor. Choosing a font family separately would be great. As ever, beautifully read by Alan Rickman. So thank you, Alan, for such great oratory. Well, you would say that. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? You don't appreciate me. Yes, I, I do. I love your readings. Well, you really don't show it. Alan, I do, but I do really need to get on. That's right. You just carry on as if everything is fine. That's all the block news I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit that like button now, it would be amazing because it really, really, really helps spread the word of the channel. And every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button now and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon.